What's up, guys? Prince Sports. Now, we all know that James Harden is going to be out indefinitely. Um, this this is basically going to hurt the Brooklyn Nets big time because um, we don't know when he's going to come back. He has a hamstring injury, and during his rehab, he aggravated it more to a point that we don't know where he's going to come back. I can honestly guarantee you that he's going to miss out the rest of the season. So those of you that wanted to see him play, you're not going to get to see him play most likely for the rest of the season. Now, out of the big three of the Brooklyn Nets, Kevin Durant is probably the best player. James Harden is probably the most important player. And Kyrie Irving is probably, I guess he brings the less to the table because he's more of the flashy but less substance, okay? Um, he's going to have to basically somewhat be the third will or be looked upon as being the third will. I don't know how is that going to sit well with him, but that's how the pecking order has to go about. And being the fact that oh, James Harden is the most important player on his Brooklyn Nets team, they're going to need him to win a championship. There's no way, no buts, ifs about it. Um, do they need him for the first, second round? Probably not. If you got two guys like Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, they could get past the first and second round without James Harden. But I think the third round, and assuming they go to the finals, they're going to need James Harden for the finals as well. Um, you would think that they can win a championship with just Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant. And technically, they can. Okay? Technically, they can if they had the better supporting cast, but they gave that up for James Harden. So this is where James Harden comes in to being the most important and the most valuable player on his team, and which is crucial for them winning because the first option and the second option is most likely going to be Kevin Durant, then James Harden, if you ask me. James Harden is the MVP. He's a scoring champ multiple times. He has a little bit of a better resume as an individual player than Kyrie Irving does, who Kyrie Irving doesn't have no individual accolades. So um, that's the difference of where that comes into. Um, Kyrie Irving can win these individual awards, but it's going to be a while, you know? Hold on for a minute. Okay, I'm back. I had to take that. I had a phone call real quick. Um, yeah, as I was saying, okay, James Harden, um, him hurting the Brooklyn Nets with this injury is, um, is questionable, man, because you don't know what's going to happen with the other two guys, you know? Kevin Durant is very indecisive. Um, Kyrie Irving, I think he'll play come playoff time. I think you could count him in. You could pencil him in to play during playoff time, but I can't, I can't rely on uh, Kevin Durant too much. It could be Kyrie Irving mostly out there. I mean, Kevin Durant misses games a lot. He's always in and out the lineup. I don't know what to suspect from this guy. So um, it's gonna be questionable to um, what to expect from Kevin Durant come playoff time. So if it's just James Harden missing the first and second round and it's just Kyrie out there and Kevin Durant in and out the lineup, the Brooklyn Nets could be in a lot of heap of trouble, okay? So we got to see and find out, man, but this really hurts them in the playoffs, assuming that um, James Harden doesn't make a speedy recovery. And hamstring is very tricky, so there's no guarantee that he's going to come back in time. And he's their most important player because he sets the table for that Brooklyn Nets team. He plays point guard. He's the most diverse player out of the that big three. He, he could do a... a a hefty of different things. Let's put it that way. You know what I'm saying? He could do a bunch of different stuff that those other two guys appear to be a little more one-dimensional compared to James Harden. So that's the dilemma that the Brooklyn Nets face. Prince Sports out. Peace.